An unarmed man was shot and killed by police. The officer has since been cleared, but this uh, 2014 case out of Utah is now facing renewed outrage because the man's aunt uh, took it upon herself to upload this entire police body cam video of the encounter onto YouTube. And so we're going to play you uh, much of that footage in just a second, but it had to be heavily edited because it is incredibly graphic in nature. So just to give you a warning, we first told you the story about Dylan Taylor back in August of last year. An officer uh, shot and killed him in South Salt Lake, which is separate from Salt Lake City, after police responded to a call with a man with a gun. Uh, when I spoke with the aunt days after her nephew was killed, um, he was at this gas station. He was wearing these headphones on uh, that might have kept him from hearing the officer's commands. That said, I want to play part of this for you. The first part of the video is silent. As the officer arrives on the scene, you see a group of people seeing the unit arrive. And now watch, you'll hear the officer turn on the audio on his body camera. Get your hands out now! Get your hands out! Get your... Get them out! Shot fired, shot fired. Get me medical here now. Hand, give me your hand. Now. Yeah, I pushed it. Okay, good. Yeah, I saw him reaching. He was reaching. Did we see him? 1039, go ahead. Need medical. 166, I get medical here now. I'm a 25 year old male. He's not conscious, he's not breathing. There, let me go take his medication. Yeah, yeah, check them out. It's clear. Come on. What the hell were you reaching for, man? Later in the video, the officer says he cannot find a weapon on Taylor. The district attorney said Officer Bron Cruz was cleared. The officer reportedly thought Taylor, with his hands around his waistband, thought he had a weapon, thought he possibly had a gun. With me now, I have Cody Taylor, Dylan's half-brother. Also with me, Gina Thane, uh, Dylan Thane's aunt, who uploaded the video we spoke last fall. I just want to welcome you back, and again, my condolences. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Gina, to you, you know, we spoke last fall. Uh, again, this, this officer involved has since been clear. The, the justice system has, has played out. You decided to upload this officer's body cam, the entire thing, just a couple of days ago. This, tell me why. Um, there's so much controversy to it that um, people aren't aware of the brutality that's truly going on out there. Um, I get choked up just even hearing it, and I can't even watch it all the way through anymore. Um, but we need to make some changes. You know, Dylan was brutalized and shot down in a parking lot, as are a lot of other people in Utah. It seems to be an epidemic. And um, the public don't know. You know, they don't know that this is happening. They believe that if they don't see it, it's not happening. And even the um, Independent Review Board you know, what were they thinking? They, they didn't even see the headphones. They said it was inconclusive. So what did they really investigate? What was their independent investigation? So we the people have to take charge and try and make change. And if this is what it takes to make that change for the public to see what's really going on, then that's what I did. Um, I, I can tell, obviously, you still have questions. I want to ask you about specific changes you have in mind in a minute. But, Cody, to you, you know, have you, in the time that's passed since last August, 
Have you, uh, ha has your family heard from Officer Cruz at all? And if so, would you mind sharing what he said to you all? Uh, we haven't heard anything from Ron Cruz at all about anything to do with the case. I haven't heard about whether he's on the force again or I haven't heard anything. Because he was cleared, and so if he wanted to return to his job, he could have. Do either of you know if he has? By the way, we, we reached out to the, the police department. We, we just haven't heard back yet. Right. As far as I know, I, I have no idea. I haven't heard anything about Bron Cruz returning or not. I have no clue. Okay. I have no idea either. I've actually gone to a couple of neighborhood meetings to try and implement change, and... Um, I have met face to face with Chief Burbank, and um, he didn't want to give me the time of day. Um, I, I have not heard anything. I haven't heard any apologies, nothing from their entire department.